Hi there, welcome to the new lecture on designing your subscriptions within Microsoft Azure. So Azure subscriptions are logical containers that serve as units of management and scale and billing boundaries, right? So you can uh, apply your limits and quotas can be easily applied. And each organization can use subscriptions to manage your cost and uh, you can segregate your resources also by uh, groups also. Things uh, you need to know about subscriptions is uh, when you want to work with Microsoft Azure, you definitely need a Azure subscription. This Azure subscription will provide you a logical containers to provision and pay for Azure products and services. There's several types of subscriptions that we need to uh, look into it. But just to you know, give you, there are different types of subscriptions like enterprise agreement or pay as you go model. You have multiple subscriptions, but you can use these subscriptions to uh, basically organize a uh, special workloads that needs to scale, uh, maybe outside the existing subscription limits. Uh, in that case, you know, you can use the subscriptions or you can provide a different billing environments. For example, development or testing or maybe production, then you can choose a different subscriptions. And you can achieve by doing this, uh, you can get the complaints by applying a policies at a subscription level. And you can manage and track the cost of each uh, organizational structure also let's say a sales subscription or maybe a development uh, subscription or production subscription cost you can easily uh, monitor and you you can easily track them the cost subscriptions can be associated with your di uh, tenant directory in this case is your active directory and uh, let's move to the uh, let's try to apply the real concepts that we learned with the management groups in the past uh, lecture or in the previous lecture now we would like to uh, take the same company tailwinds corporation or maybe traders that they wanted to uh, grow with their subscription based on their business so you can you know uh, offer the best possible solutions here let's say tailwind has sales and corporate and it in with an it department they have r d production and the production you have application one application two and there are you know, some applications that are shared applications now as you know that uh, you could apply the quotas you could uh, track you could monitor the cost uh, based on your applications or the resources uh, that you want to apply right the, that's where the subscription comes into the picture so now a possible solution could be very similar to this uh, where you could have a multiple uh, multiple subs subscriptions can be uh, defined here for example tailwind has their own subscription here it could be an enterprise uh, subscription and uh, also there are other uh, subscriptions for sales west side and east side and corporate side hash or legal departments uh, also the uh, here r d and production application one application two and shared applications you could have a multiple subscriptions so that you could uh, track them now uh, this is looks good but let's understand what are the best practices that needs to be followed uh, during the uh, during the creation of subscription or maybe uh, when you have to choose the subscription so the first thing first here let's move to that specific slide and try to understand you must have to treat subscriptions or democratized units of your management what does it mean it means you can align your subscriptions with your business needs and you can prioritize them and also group uh, subscriptions together under management groups let's say you have a grouping uh, uh, grouping these subscriptions uh, will ensures that the subscriptions uh, with the, the same set of policies and as your role assignment can be inherited from a uh, management group for example uh, both the west and the east uh, subscriptions will inherit policies from the sales management in the previous uh, uh, slide if you see here uh, you could actually group them the uh, subscriptions uh, into the management group so the group level when you apply the uh, policies uh, for west and east uh, the policies will inherit uh, uh, for even your different two set of uh, different business units or subscriptions also one other recommended 
uh, concept for the subscriptions would be consider your dedicated shared services for example as your express route or as your van all of these uh, things can be you know built together and uh, from your isolated workloads so that you could uh, use as a shared a subscription uh, for all of your common network resources can be you know built and also other point would be the consider subscription scale limits so subscriptions definitely has some kind of you know limitations um you need to know think in that direction also and uh, subscriptions serves a scale unit for your component workloads for example large and specialized workloads like high performance computing uh, for example um, uh, maybe sap workloads or maybe your iot specialized service or maybe sap these things are better suited for a uh, to have it separate subscriptions um, and these subscriptions will avoid resource limits uh, for example uh, of within this subscription you have 50 azure data factory integrations can be done that's one of the limitation that you have with every subscription so more you split more you get the resources also can be implemented think in that direction now also think about the management point of view let's see uh, who's going to manage these subscriptions and uh, whether you want to you know, allow a single management from a top level or just the one person so you have to you know uh, combine some somewhere some kind of you know separate administrators or would you like to you know combine them so these things also you need to consider for example the corporate group uh, within this corporate group you have the hr as well as the legal uh, department so do you want to have a single uh, subscription for both the hr and legal departments you might have to think in that direction also uh, that's another point another point would be the consider how you will assign as your policies both management groups and subscription serves as the boundaries for your uh, assignment of is your policies so policies can be assigned at the uh, definitely at the management group level and subscription level but you need to you know, think what policies to be applied at what stage for example workloads such as a payment card industry that's a pci we call it or uh, these kind of you know workloads typically require additional policies to achieve compliance so instead of using a management group uh, or to a group workload that requires pca compliance you can achieve the same isolation with a subscription uh, because your subscription also will isolate the required resources if you could remember and these types of decisions ensures you don't have too many management groups with only few subscriptions let's also think about considering uh, network topologies so when we talk about the network topology definitely the vnets cannot uh, communicate from one subnet one uh, subscription to and the subscription right so you need to think that uh, direction and you might have to think about vnet peering or, or the vpns that needs to be created or considered for your workloads must to communicate with each other uh, when you decide uh, whether a new subscription is required also consider making a subscription owner aware of their roles and responsibilities for example um, uh, you can you know you could conduct an access review using as your ad privilege identity management or pin uh, quarterly or twice a year access reviews ensures uh, privileges don't uh, pro life rate as users move within the customer organization from one different to another um, they move out to different roles and responsibilities so we did uh, we did talk about a lot of things about considering but you need to know one point that is one size doesn't fit all subscriptions so what works for one business unit might not work for other business unit so you might have to uh, consider these things when you're uh, planning and uh, if you could see here this is the final uh, design that we could you know, think about it to have a specialized workloads uh, can be you no know, scale to outside subscription limits uh, also you could manage track cost of your organization structure you could identify different environments like development test or legal hr these things and you might have a need to isolate 
uh, them from your management perspective you would also secure your workloads that require additional policies rules be rule based uh, access control to achieve a compliance that you wanted for example we talked about pca compliance so these things you need to consider when you're trying to design your subscriptions Hope this is useful for you in terms of best uh, practices and recommendations or consideration points uh, when it comes to the subscriptions. We will catch you in the next lecture with uh, respect to the resource groups. Thank you.